Hello, YouTube. Austin here, and I don't know, worry, Cavara Morty. This is actually not that. I'm gonna do a breakdown. So, um, this is kind of a new, different thing, I guess, that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, gonna be breaking down a base. Um, ooh finding weaknesses in it and how to exploit them or what the best way to take advantage of these weaknesses are uh, plan it out show the attack and how it plays out um, and yeah this should be a learning experience for everybody trying to get in that uh, mindset of how to how to crack a base I guess this one was pretty easy uh, since this is the first one I'm gonna do me I'm gonna show my three star this was a fresh attack a flash three star if you will uh, on this it's not, it's not preemie but not maxed out the uh, point defense is not uh, the heroes are pretty weak. There are a few max defenses, Infernal Towers, Wizard Towers, Air Defense, Mortars. Those are maxed out. I assume, in prep day, I am assuming that Hidden Teslas are maxed out. Uh, only because those are uh, relatively inexpensive upgrades for Town Hall 10. Um, but yeah, let's look at this base. Um, it is symmetrical, more or less. Uh, some things that I noticed is like, uh, his sweepers, or her sweepers, I don't know. Uh, um, yes, um, whatever. Uh, they're number five. Sweeper's pointed inside, I'm guessing maybe they're trying to defend against uh, mass dragons, I guess. Uh, not a good idea if you want to defend against Gola, which I am planning on doing to this base. Uh, some more weaknesses that I see. Um... Well, there's like these wizard towers here and over there are touching or in range of these air defenses. It's not a good idea. Don't do that. Even just one square like that because the hound will just sit on that one square. The wizard tower will shoot at the hound and it's going to do not a lot to the hound while the wounds come in and wreck it. Um... Archer Queen is very accessible. I mean, a, ju a jump over like an Archer Tower will get anything into the core. That's some weak points there from like a lot of different angles. Just a jump on any of those defenses will get into the core. Uh, Archer Queen herself, even just like a uh, break into this compartment. The wall breakers will get in there. Just uh, I ended up because I seen the the inferno towers. He's got max out or inferno towers in line with the air defenses though. And then the clan castle is here. Clan castle is super lureable. One hog or giant or anything will get it out. Um, and then straight into the core. So, those are the weaknesses. Uh, how I decided to go about this, this is a planning process. I committed to the idea of coming from the north. Um, with my kill squad, doing a goal off. 
one thing that I wanted to avoid was pulling the clan castle. Um, if I could drag him off to the corner and kill him that way, that's fine. That takes a lot of time, but uh, I, it's doable. Or what I'd really like to do is just just deal with them on the fly pretty much um, so the problem with that is if I send golems to these point defenses here they are gonna pull the CC I do not want that I do not want to pull the CC while I'm doing a funnel it's not a good idea so the way looking at the range here of the clan castle the way to do that is to send my golems on this mortar um, issue with that is anywhere that I put my golems uh, the mortar is going to retarget off of them onto my eventual wizards to clear out all these trash buildings so I, what I figured I would do is drop my golems uh, and then my archer queen that way the mortar hopefully redirects three targets to my AQ because um, to be honest mortar is not gonna do is, is the mortar is gonna do a little more than nothing basically nothing to my archer team. Um so yeah the idea is to drop two golems in between the barracks here uh, and then drop my archer queen on this gold mine that way she gets uh, the attention of the mortar set up some wizards to clear out the trash now the advantage though um, of sending my golems on the mortar is I want, I, I want to eventually break into this compartment with wall breakers. If I do send my golems on the, to these cannons and break a wall up here and come in from the very north, um, those golems, if I send them straight in here, are going to have to walk all the way up that wall and then back in. So the advantage of dropping them on this mortar is they will walk a little bit towards the mortar and then a little bit back up to get back into this compartment to take out these things and eventually go into the sweeper. Um, the, the issue with that is it is a tight funnel. It is a pretty, uh, relatively for Town Hall Town that is a small funnel, but done right everything's pretty much going to get trapped into, uh, into this compartment and then work its way into the clan castle area the core and take out these key defenses infernal towers air defense uh and queen king also he's not a huge deal but he is there so we're gonna have to take care of him and the town hall i assume since there's a lot of two by two spaces all over this core that there's gonna be teslas there um, there are many more places for Teslas, but I'm guessing they're in the core. So the idea here, Golems on the mortar, Archer Queen, funneling whiz, and then since I have to go into the core, and I want all my, I want a really good push into the core, I figured I would do a Max Golem in the clan castle. Um, with some wall breakers since I need to break that wall um, and then send in my barb king but I know that I need some buildings inside the course or inside this uh, compartment still up or else that I run the risk of my Barb King targeting these outside buildings going for a nice little walk. I do not want that. That is the opposite of what I want. Um, so I gotta kind of drop him early. Luckily, 
since the clan castle is so exposed like pretty much as soon as my golems start going like are, are have reached it barely the inside I know I can drop my king golems are gonna uh, be pulling the CZ the CZ is not gonna be worried about my barb king and my barb king is free to do what he wants so I don't have to wait forever I don't have to delay my king as normal uh, but I do have to wait on him a little bit um, moving forward, the clan castle will be coming out. I, I'm committing a rage to get my golems going, get my uh, king and my queen in that rage to take care, and whatever wizards uh, should have a few wizards over there to help and to rage them into the clan castle, get that confrontation over with. That way they can move forward. Now, uh, with going in the air, I want, uh, I'm want i aiming for these air defenses. So as soon as the Archer Queen and the air defenses are down, that is that, that portion of the raid is pretty much over. I don't care about that so much anymore. I'm more worried about this back end. So uh, since there's only two air defenses left, I want two hounds. I only need two hounds. And I'm kind of gonna drop them like in between barracks and the spell factory. We'll tank this uh, arch tower for a second. So as soon as I drop those, I'm gonna drop. Um, actually, you're gonna be tanking the arch tower the entire way over to the air fence. But as soon as I drop those hounds, I'm gonna double drop the hounds and then uh, double drop balloons on the cannons here two on each cannon that way they take care of the cannon take care of the arch tower and move forward um, and then the other thing is since these wizard towers are in range of the air defense um, I would like once the wizard tower is shooting towards the uh, hound and sits on those air defenses then I will drop double drop on uh, the wizard tower and arch towers kind of the symmetrical base so I'm just gonna two hand this on my, uh, on my iPad now the only thing left is, left is this bottom area we got this archer tower here a little bit in range of these archer towers here as soon as this one is um, distracted, I'm going to drop loons on this mortar. Those loons will just travel all the way up to the expo and so forth. Uh, now I have, at this point, I have 104 housing left out of uh, all the troops. Um, and, but I, I need to build loons, so I, I figured 20 loons is going to be plenty to take out all these. Four left, I'll build two uh, minions to take out this laboratory. Because when, if and when these hounds pop that are on these air defenses, uh, their pups are going to be in that general area. Let me get some minions on this lab. Go take out the lab, the builder huts, the collectors, and help clean up this southern section. Um, let's see. For spells, like I said, there's going to be a rage. I'll probably drop it around this area, get everybody going. I need to rather jump or EQ over this air sweeper. I kind of like EQ if I can afford it just to open it up no big deal um, along the same lines of this wizard tower being in range of the air defense the hound is gonna sit oops, the hound is gonna sit on the very edge of the air defense so I just need to barely nick that air defense with a rage and I'll get the hound and the rest will be the rest of the rage will be for the wizard tower and the rest of these defenses in here. I'm gonna double drop those. 
so that's why um, I'm also afforded I'm, I'm not gonna bring a freeze because I don't I'm trusting my kill squad will come in and get the inferno towers um, so just three rage four EQ and a, uh, a poison I, I was undecided about the poison at first because I really didn't know it was going to come out of the coin castle. If it's a hound, I really don't need a poison. Um, but I went with a poison because one of the guys, uh, one of the higher up guys had a dragon. A few of the lower guys had witches. So I didn't know what was going to come out of the coin castle. So might as well bring poison. Why not? Um, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's watch this raid. Like I said, coming from the north. Uh, EQ should be coming in here shortly. Okay, there's EQ. Golem go in, go right for the uh, mortar. Arch Queen before the wizards. I'll pause here. Um, a little bit unfortunate if you see that Mortar Shell is going for those wizards. I dropped my Archer Queen, especially to tank that uh, Mortar, for whatever reason, or for those wizards. Um, kind of hurt me, Didn't wasn't a big deal, but um, was something I noticed. Wall Breakers go in after all that trash is done. Golems go in. Uh, past the wall and I dropped my king but if you see here my golems like I said we're uh, pulling the clan castle a dragon comes out two loons um, looks like a archer and maybe a wizard I'm not sure um, so poison goes down also to take care of some of the squishy troops hurts the dragon a little bit and will eventually kill the loons um, yeah, those left side wizards died. The ones on the right come back into the core to help a little bit, which is good. Everybody's moving in sm smoothly. Uh, some skelly traps over there, which is annoying, but a smart thing for an attacker uh, to set your skellies on ground and protect your queen with them. Distract uh, the kill squad a little bit. Um... But yeah, did did a good job of, like I said, it's a, it's a really tight funnel, but it, it it's a it it's a solid one. Everybody goes in to the middle, and they're gonna just keep going middle. So what I'm looking for here, one air defense goes down. King is moving in towards the queen, so I'm gonna pop my king, and this air defense is almost down and that's what I'm looking for is uh, King going for the Queen air defense going down uh, if you see here my Queen going off to this wizard tower getting a getting a little bit off skew I kind of knew that was gonna happen it's not a big deal she's gonna you know go for whatever as long as she stays in that uh, in that pocket it's fine you know, she'll, she'll do things. So, there's air defense about to go down. There's the air defense. As soon as that goes down, I already had hounds ready. Drops my hounds, like I said, in between the uh, barracks and the uh, army camps. They're going to go for those back end um, air defenses. And now I switch to my loons, and boom, double drop on those cannons. Archer towers are, well, one's shooting into the middle, one's shooting at the hound. Um, archers go in. Now I'm looking at these wizard towers. One wizard tower is shooting at my hound, the other's not. And wait a second. There, the other one is shooting, and now I drop those ones. Here come some rages. Uh, now if we look back into the core, Queen is down. 
Uh, golems are starting to get wrecked. There's the uh, hidden Teslas. They are in the core as expected. Good idea by this uh, defender. Um, and we're working on those Inferno Towers. Uh, at this stage in the game, I'm already dropped all my spells. My rages are coming in soon. Now I'm just waiting for this bottom archer tower to start shooting at anything, and I'm gonna drop the rest of my moons. And right after my moons, minions. So there's the rages. Uh, kind of missed on this right one. Didn't even touch that hound. Got the loons. Plenty good enough though, you see they're all purple. Uh, this hound is a little bit purple. Uh, balloons looking good, I'm gonna get that rage. Just waiting for this archer tower. There's the archer tower. Here comes the loons. Minions right after it. Uh, now my archer queen takes out an inferno tower. Working on the uh, town hall. There goes the uh the town hall the air sweeper is still up uh only a few defenses left other than the uh, air sweeper inferno tower oh well the air sweeper pushed a few of my loons out of the way so those ones are safe the ones that are uh going after the air sweeper um kind of being affected by the uh inferno tower but not really uh so i'm and, and i still have my archer queen's ability i'm waiting on her till these loons come back and i'm gonna pop her and try to get all three of those defenses uh the infernal tower expo and the uh um hidden tesla all in one foul swoop so loons come back into range pop her she walks a little bit, takes out a pad, hidden Tesla, and then uh, as the little archers are tanking for the uh, expo, uh, my archer queen takes out the uh, expo. A little bit of a loon split here, which is good. Uh, the double black and red bombs kind of messed up my loons there a little bit. One left over to clean up, which is uh, sweet. Helped out this raid. Uh, with a lot of time left, a lot of troops left. Here we go, some more uh, bombs. That's pretty fun. Um, so, yeah, and that's the three star. Uh, I'm going to show it one more time just, uh, just so you guys can see, I guess. Uh, EQ! Alright, here we go. Columns, Archer, Wizards. Now I'm looking to clear the trash. Trash is cleared, 7cc. Wall is broken. Columns going in. King goes down. CC comes out. Spells. Waiting here for the king to go in for the queen. For my king. King heads over there, I pop him. Air defenses are down, hounds go down. Followed quickly by loons. Wizard towers distracted. Drop the rage. Archer tower shooting. Drop the rest of my loons. Um, watching my AQ here. See the infernal tower still up. Loons get pushed. Infernal tower redirect or uh, I guess just shoots up my loons. Pop my queen. And now it's just watching. Just watching this. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you guys want to join right these Reapers or 101, the claim that I'm currently in, um, playing game, 
find us on the forums, um, or leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, until next time, you guys take it easy, and if it's easy, take it twice.